Is there a real estate on affordability crisis? I see a lot of people on X, videos on Instagram or TikTok, complaining about how unaffordable housing is in the US, Canada, Australia, and many other parts of the world. I wanna take a couple of minutes to suggest that there's actually hope for these people. Right now, there are two segments of the population at each other's heels. One, you have normal lower to middle class people who are simply looking for an affordable place to live, work, and raise a family. Two, you have upper class investors buying real estate and then renting it out to young people or families. The issue is that buying and hoarding houses is only really a rational investment because today's money is broken. Today's money is designed to debase against basic consumer goods. So in US dollar terms, houses, which are more difficult to make than a Big Mac, are also going to go up in price forever. However, like I said, there is hope for both the investors and the families. Today, we actually have a new form of money that is not designed to debase. In fact, this form of money is perfectly scarce and not controlled by a centralized group of people. This new reality creates two better outcomes for both segments of the population. For the investors, you no longer have to hoard housing and charge families a rent premium since so many houses are already hoarded by other investors. You as an investor who is simply looking to increase their purchasing power the fastest and with the lowest risk can now just buy and hold Bitcoin. Now you'll actually outperform your old real estate portfolio and you can stop hoarding homes. For the middle class family, you will start to see more homes coming to market as investors realize they don't need to hoard them anymore to save their wealth. More selling and less hoarding is going to lead to cheaper houses for everybody. And probably most importantly, families can now save in Bitcoin and watch housing prices continue to fall over the long run. Bitcoin is a way to supercharge your savings and view economic reality through a new lens that isn't manipulated by governments and central banks. So yes, there is hope for both the investor and the family. This is the power of innovation, technology acceleration, and free markets. New tools come to life, and they eliminate bad incentive structures. There is hope for both of these segments, and it may happen sooner rather than later, because once investors who hold millions of homes recognize this, it's a rush to the exit before home prices fall significantly more in Bitcoin terms. Homes are consumption items, not investments. Just like you shouldn't invest in cars or boats, homes are no different. Bitcoin is a new form of money that will make this obvious to the world.